Mount Asama in the Japan, in the biggest island of Japan, Honsho, is actually active. It's one of the most active volcanoes in the Japan, and definitely the most active in the Honsho Island, which is the biggest island. Uh, there was mild uh, signs of the activity you could see in the night, some fumaroles and uh, you know light coming out of the volcano. And uh, in the previous eruptions, we would have seen such a thing usually. Uh, this is just from a few weeks ago, as you can see. There's lots of steam coming out. Usually, this volcano erupts in a very complex way. That's the reason we call it complex eruption. It doesn't have, like a stratovolcano, a one conical shape, you know, uh, mountain with some one or two vents. It has multiple vents, and they can erupt at any time. The shape of it is all the time getting modified by each eruption. At the moment, the shape of it looks like this. You can see a big caldera around it, then another central one, then inside it is a big deep hole, like a punched hole as if. And you can see the uh, signs of the cinder activity, kind of tough, tophic material being, and means just ash, being spread around it. From a distance it looks like that. And this is part of the tectonic plate movements that's creating these volcanoes. Japan is one of the most active, like Indonesia, volcanically active regions on the earth. The earth is made of plates which are broken and when they collide with each other, some of them go under the other one. And this creates a melting of the plate which is going under. And when it rises back as a melt, it creates these volcanoes. Uh, Mount Asama is one of those active ones. Throughout the history of Japan, it was active.